So now what we want to do is for everybody that signs up to our email list using this form, we want to have an automatic email sent out to them, kind of welcoming them to our email list. Or if you like giving something away, we want to give them uh, whatever we're giving away, like an ebook or a checklist or something. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to create as an email that will be automatically sent out to them. And then we're going to automate, going to use automations to set up this automation. So first we need to create this email. So just click on the top left on the logo of send in blue, and that will take you back to your dashboard. Um, then we want to click on templates on the left side because you need to create an email template for that to work. You already have some templates, some, some um, default templates inside of your account, but we're going to create a new one. So just click on the top right here on new template. And then we want to give the template a name. So for me, it's going to be a welcome message. I'm going to, just going to name it welcome message. Then the subject line is actually what people will see when they receive your email. So if you have like a lead magnet, what you can type in is here's uh, your free ebook. Or uh, if you just want people to sign up for a newsletter, you can just type in welcome to my newsletter, something like that. So I'm just going to use this one right here. And then you, what you want to choose is the actual branded email address from your own domain that we have signed up, that we have set up before. So for me, it's this one, Simon at learnpassiveincome.com. Then again, you can um, decide what name should appear whenever they receive your emails. Uh, for me, it's just going to be Simon. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to click next step on the top right. Now you have some different kind of email editors that you can use. Um, so if you have like a visual email with a lot of um, images and logos, then I would recommend you use the drag and drop editor. If you have a simple text email, just um, like, like if you would write an email to a friend or something, um, only text there, then you can use the rich text editor. So I'm going to show the rich text editor is very simple. You just type in the text. You can also type, uh, you can use links, hyperlinks and stuff like that. So I'm not going to show you this because it's self-explanatory. I'm going to show you the drag and drop editor. So I'm going to click on this one. And there you also have like a default template that you can use and you can change everything inside of this um, editor. So you can, insert images, you can insert your logo here, you can change the text. So I'm just gonna type in welcome. And um, it's also like learning by doing, just drag in whatever you need from the left side here. And um, you can change your address, you can change um, all your social media links on the bottom here. So if you click on them, you can just uh, insert or you can paste your social media links in there. If you uh, have some more, you can just activate them, deactivate some. It's kind of really easy actually to create an email like that. Um, I usually don't use the, the visual creator because I, I just send out simple text emails. But uh, if you like to have like a visual designed email, then use this one. Okay, so once you've finished creating your email, um, you can just click on save and quit on the top right corner. And then we'll see like a preview of what our email will look like. Now I didn't really design my email because it would take too long for this tutorial, but for you it will be like your logo, your image or whatever you've put in there. And then this is how it looks like for somebody that's opening your email with uh, in a desktop version. So that's how it will look like. And you can also again switch to mobile. That's what it will look on a, on a tablet or on a mobile. So again, just check if everything looks fine. And then if it does, just click on save and activate on the top right. Okay, so now we have saved the template and activated successfully. So now that we have set up our welcome email, we can actually set up the automation that whenever somebody signs up for our email list, it will already, uh, it will automatically trigger to send out this email that we have just created. So the way we want to do that or the way we do that is to uh, use automation. And you see on my, on my um, bar here, you already see the automation button. But I don't know if you see it uh, on your account. So if you don't, just click on the plus sign here on the top. And that's where you can um, set up all the tools that you want to have in your bar. So um, if you see an automation somewhere, then just 
Oh, here. So the automation, you you just want to tick this one so that it's, it's, um, it's in your bar as well. So make sure that's turned on and then you will also see it on the top here. So to get started with automation, just click on automation here and then we want to uh, create our first workflow. Now, um, again, just click on create workflow and then we want to create a custom workflow. So we just click on custom workflow again, give it a name. So for me, it's going to be tutorial and a description. If you want to, you don't need to give it a, a description. And then you can decide if somebody can um, multiple time go through your workflow multiple times. I usually tend to just turn this off because I don't see the reason why people would need to go through my workflow multiple times and with the same email address. So I'm going to click done and there's our workflow. So we first need to decide who's going to be put on in this workflow. And th the people we want to put on this workflow is the people that sign up with our form. So we click on the plus sign here on the entry point, And then we want to click on a contact submitted a form or submits a form. You can also have other entry points, like if a certain um, contact does something specific, like he opens a specific email, then you create a separate workflow for that, but that's kind of more advanced. So what we're gonna do here is just uh, say a contact submits a form, and then we have to decide what form they um, submitted. So I'm gonna use the one that I have just created, which is the tutorial form. Okay, so we've cho chosen this one, then we click okay. So everybody that will sign up with the with the form will be put in this workflow. Now again, what we wanna do is send out an immediate email welcoming them to our email newsletter or email list. So we click on the plus sign below this, um, this one here and then we have a lot of options. So what we wanna do is just click on the send an email which is on the top. And then this is where you see all your templates emails and as we have just created our welcome message, you will see your welcome message here. Uh, so you ju just choose your welcome message and then click OK. So now uh, if you activate the workflow here, then whenever somebody signs up, this welcome message will be automatically sent to them. Now, if you want to have like a seven day sequence, what you can do is just send an email and then like wait a day and then send another email, then wait another day so that every day they will be sent an email. So if you want to like promote something to them, you can kind of build a relationship with your first five emails. And then with the last two, you kind of promote something to them. So the way you do that is by just building out your workflow. So you can click on the plus sign again and then you want to look for a condition and then click on add a delay. And I usually just wait a day. So contacts will wait for one day. Just click one and then choose day here. And then I click OK. And then what I'll just do is create another email and then just send another email here. I only have like this one email now, so I can choose another one. But that's how it would work. And you just keep building out your workflow however you however you long it should be it could also be like a year long it doesn't really matter um, it's up to you but that's basically how you build a simple workflow within send and bloom